Discover how Lenny the Owl solves problems and learn English effortlessly through engaging storytelling and unique perspectives. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. In the heart of the Whispering Woods, there lived a young owl named Lenny. Unlike his fellow owls, Lenny was not considered wise. He often mixed up his facts and came up with unusual ideas. Despite this, Lenny was always cheerful and curious, believing there was more to wisdom than just being knowledgeable. One day, trouble struck the forest. A large storm had blown through the night before, leaving a mess in its wake. Trees were uprooted, and the forest paths were blocked by fallen branches. The animals gathered in a panic, unsure of how to restore their home. The wise old owl, Professor Hoot, called for a meeting to discuss a solution. During the meeting, various animals proposed their ideas. The beavers suggested building new dams, while the deer proposed using their antlers to move the branches. However, none of these plans seemed to address the overall chaos left by the storm. Lenny watched quietly from the back, thinking deeply. He noticed something that the others had overlooked. What if we look at this from a different angle? Lenny suggested timidly. The other animals turned to him, curious but skeptical. Lenny continued, instead of just moving things around, why don't we use what the storm has given us? The fallen branches and leaves can be used to build new homes and shelters. We can turn this disaster into an opportunity. The animals murmured among themselves, considering Lenny's idea. Professor Hoot, impressed by Lenny's perspective, decided to give it a try. Let's give Lenny's idea a chance, he announced. Under Lenny's guidance, the animals began to work together. The beavers used the branches to reinforce their dams, making them stronger than before. The birds collected leaves to build cozy nests, and the rabbits used the twigs to create new burrows. Even the deer helped, using their antlers to lift and move the heavier branches. As the forest began to recover, the animals realized that Lenny's creative approach had not only solved their problem, but it also brought them closer together. They started to see Lenny in a new light, appreciating his unique way of thinking. Weeks passed, and the forest flourished once again. The paths were clear, and new shelters dotted the landscape. The animals celebrated their restored home with a grand feast. Professor Hooch stood up to speak. Today, we celebrate not just our restored forest, but also the wisdom that comes from seeing things differently. Lenny has shown us that wisdom is not just about knowledge, but about creativity and insight. Lenny beamed with pride as the animals cheered for him. He had proven that wisdom comes in many forms and that everyone has something valuable to contribute. From that day on, whenever a problem arose in the Whispering Woods, the animals made sure to include Lenny in their discussions. They had learned that sometimes the most unconventional ideas could lead to the best solutions. And Lenny, the once least wise owl, had become a beloved and respected member of their community. Congratulations on completing Lenny the wise little owl! Your dedication to learning English is impressive. Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, curious, eager to know or learn something. Number two, struck, hit or affected by something forceful. Number three, uprooted, torn out of the ground. Number four, chaos, complete disorder and confusion. Number five, skeptical, doubtful or questioning. Number six, restore, bring back to its original condition. Number seven, murmured, spoke softly and indistinctly. Number eight, timid, showing a lack of courage or confidence. Number nine, work together, 
collaborate with others. Number 10. Impressive, evoking admiration through size, quality, or skill. Number 11. Give it a try, make an attempt at something. Number 12. Perspective, a particular attitude toward or way of regarding something. Number 13. Reinforce, strengthen, or support. Number 14. Cozy, comfortable, and warm. Number 15. Creative, using imagination or original ideas to create something. Number 16, flourish, grow or develop in a healthy or vigorous way. Number 17, landscape, all the visible features of an area of land. Number 18, unconventional, not based on or conforming to what is generally done or believed. Number 19, celebrated, acknowledged with a social gathering or enjoyable activity. Number 20, beloved, dearly loved. Number 21, brought them closer together, strengthened their relationship. Number 22, disaster into an opportunity, turned a bad situation into a chance for improvement. Number 23, inclusive, including all groups and ideas. Number 24, wisdom, the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. Number 25, comes up with, thinks of, or suggests an idea. Number 26, gathered, brought together in one place. Number 27, twigs, small, thin branches of a tree or bush. Number 28, approach, a way of dealing with something. Number 29, restored, brought back to a former condition. Number 30, perspectives, different ways of viewing or understanding something. Number 31, thrive, grow or develop well or vigorously. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.